Telangana Chief Minister Revanth Reddy has asked officials to explore alternative alignments for the Hyderabad Metro Rail project in order to better serve the central and eastern parts of the city. This move comes as the government seeks to review the project alignment and benefits. Telangana former IT Minister KT Ramarao has announced that the state is in active discussions with Corning Incorporated, a leading material science company, to explore potential investment opportunities in the state. This development could further boost the state's IT sector and attract more foreign investments. According to recent data, the gross state domestic product GSDP of Telangana has grown at a faster rate than the national GDP. This indicates a strong economic performance by the state, driven by its robust industrial and agriculture sectors. Senior IAS officer Smita Sabarwal has denied reports that she is being considered for a central government deputation. In a statement, she clarified that she is currently focused on her role as the Secretary of Telangana Government's Women and Child Development Department. Eight passengers were injured when a Telangana State Road Transport Corporation TSRTC bus collided with a truck in Nalagunda district. The injured passengers were immediately rushed to a nearby hospital for treatment. The accident has once again raised concerns about road safety in the state. Five students of the Rajiv Gandhi Institute of Medical Sciences RIMS in Adilabad were allegedly assaulted by a group of unidentified individuals. The incident has sparked outrage among the student community with many demanding that the authorities take strict action against the perpetrators. An illegal cattle racket was busted in Jangaon district with authorities rescuing 68 cattle that were being transported for slaughter. The incident highlights the ongoing issue of illegal cattle smuggling in the state and the need for stronger enforcement measures. G. Prasad Kumar has been unanimously elected as the Speaker of the 3rd Telangana Assembly. The election took place during the first session of the newly formed Assembly, with members from all parties unanimously supporting Kumar's candidature. Officials in Jangaon district have been urged to expedite the procurement of party from farmers. The move comes as farmers in the region have been facing issues with storage and transportation leading to concerns about potential losses. The government is now taking steps to ensure that the procurement process is completed in a timely and efficient manner.